By 2050, we need to increase the amount of food that we produce by 70%. We, we have this booming population and we need to be able to manage our impact on, on the earth in terms of the climate and in terms of pollution. My research centres on developing lasers and these lasers are being developed for the European Space Agency. The idea is they will be placed on a satellite to monitor things like climate change, weather prediction, but also to monitor vegetation health. A measure of the colours that leaves reflect back up to a device enables us to determine key health information. And by putting a laser onto a satellite, we're able to do this remotely without actually going and physically checking the leaves ourselves. So we already have sensing instruments on satellites, looking at the world, looking at plants, keeping an eye on deforestation. But the majority of those are based on a passive sensing technique. They don't have their own light source. Now, there are two problems with doing that. You can only collect your data when the sun's shining. And the other issue is the accuracy or the resolution that you can ultimately obtain. By generating this technology, we hope to resolve details down to about 15 centimetres. And this will give us the resolution that we need to better see not just a global picture, but all, all the way down to an individual plant. We can manufacture a device which is compact, light, and very, very robust. And that means that it can not only be placed on big satellites, which are gonna be up in space for, for decades, but it can also be placed on mini satellites, or something that would be interesting for the lone farmer, it can be placed on a drone or, or other aircraft. So my dream for this technology is that in the next 10 years, not only will this technology be used on big satellite missions used by European Space Agency or governmental organisations, but also that the lone farmer in Scotland knows exactly where he needs to put his fertiliser in the corner of his field. <laughs>